What's up guys, Jordan here from Show Me Vegas, back with another walking tour, and this is the one I'm most excited about out of all the walking tours I've done here on the channel. This is Fountain Blue Las Vegas. Hey, this place has only been open for a couple of days, so I, like you, have hardly seen it. Let's get inside and show you what there is and give you a full walking tour of Fountain Blue. As always, we're going to use the property map to help show you around. And as always, we're going to enter in right through the main entrance here. I'm going to try to live narrate this thing as best as possible. Kind of loud out here right now, but let's get inside. Entering in through the main entrance, of course, the first thing you come across is the lobby, and it is a stunner. Over here to the left is the bell desk. Across the back wall over there is registration. Right over here is the concierge. Well, they spent a ton of money on flowers for the grand opening. Look at all these roses. We've had a lot of fun taking pictures in there. All right, let's head toward the casino. Right over here, they've had this set up for photo ops for the grand opening. Super cool photo wall here. We've had some fun with this as well. Before we get any further, I want to show you something really cool. This wall right over here is all mosaic tile. This entire wall wraps all the way around there. All individual tiles. Maybe that's why it took 16 years to build this place. All right, heading on toward the casino. Not to it yet. Right over here on the right is Collins. That is a very laid back cocktail bar. We had a drink in there yesterday. Super cool environment. And pretty good cocktails. Over here you've got a strip entrance. Not a lot to walk to around here, so. You're probably not going to exit out this door very often, but... Alright, let's head toward the casino now. On our way to the casino, we've passed some escalators here. That goes upstairs to the second level. Shopping and the food hall are up there. We'll go up there later on, but for now, we're going to stick to the right side, go around the outside of the casino, then we're going to come down through the middle of the casino and head upstairs. Here on the edge of the casino floor, let's just stop to admire it for a minute. 42 foot ceilings, beautiful blue and gold theme. On the right you see a Gucci store that's not open yet. A lot of the retail is not ready yet. And as a matter of fact, 15 of the food and beverage outlets that are planned are still not open. As of today, which is December 16th. good look at the center look at that chandelier over blue bar now this is being filmed at about nine o'clock in the morning so it's not busy yet but rest assured this place has been packed this weekend on our right here is mother wolf that's an Italian restaurant that's a concept that I'm not able to quite understand but it looks really cool right here on our right now is Don's Prime 
This is the premier steakhouse here on the property, the classic traditional steakhouse. We ate there last night, had a phenomenal meal. Our meal there was great. You'll see that in another video. So be sure and subscribe. All right, we're approaching now the west entrance. This heads out to the strip and you'll see that Circus Circus is just right across the street. So anybody walking here to Fountain Blue, this is probably the entrance you're gonna walk up to first because this is on the extreme southwest corner of the building. Again, I mentioned flowers. Now this is something cool right inside the west entrance, this wall, this wall moves. It's kinetic, marble on one side, gold on the other. Nice touch. All right, this walkway takes you right up through the center of the casino. Well, like I said, we're gonna stick to the right side and go all the way around before we go through the middle. Somewhere out there in that sea of slot machines, Ashton is busy losing money right now, I'm sure of it. The slots have been tight here on opening weekend. All right, over here on our right is the tavern. This is a sports bar and the sports book is actually in there as well. I'll take you and show you that. Go around the side here real quick. We might have lunch here today. There's some NFL football being played on a Saturday today, so we might have lunch in here. But at the back you see here's the sports book. I like it. I really like the vibe back here. All right, let's get back out to the casino floor. Everywhere you enter this casino floor from is just stunning. That chandelier in the middle, the high ceilings, it's just, it is, this is probably the most elegant casino in town. Right over here on the right is the casino cage. see some table games we just passed on our left here. That's not the main pit. The main pit is over here to our left now. Under the awning. Really cool. We'll see more of that later. All right, we're heading now toward the south entrance. Over here on the left is Azul. That's a tequila and mezcal based cocktail lounge. We had a drink last night in there and I gotta say, Thank you. I gotta say, the cocktail I had in there at Azul was one of my favorites I've ever had. We're headed toward the South Valet. Over here on the right is Shea Bon Bon, coffee and pastries. You can see it's starting to get busy here on a Saturday morning. Wait till you see this lobby. This is the south entrance. These doors over here to our left is where Rideshare dropped us off yesterday. So you can imagine when we came in here to this room with about 60 foot ceilings, our jaws dropped immediately. head back in and finish the circuit around the outside of the casino and then like I said we'll head upstairs and show you what's on the second one. Over here on the right you see Vita, popular breakfast option. A really large restaurant actually there's a lot of seating capacity in there. Over here on the right, not yet completed. This is gonna be Washing Potato. Another one of the restaurants here. This is one of the 15 that's not open yet. Although it doesn't look like it's too far, uh, too far from being ready. You probably see on the map how this casino is laid out. I like it because it's got a lot of different distinct areas to gamble in. Again, another table pit here. A lot of table games here at Fountain Blue. 
We'll talk about minimums a little later on the, in the tour. More fresh flowers. In here is the high limit gaming room. I'm obviously not going to walk in there. Camera rolling. So let's keep on. And who knows, we might just catch a glimpse of Ashton winning or losing, probably losing. That back there was the high limit table games. This is the high limit slots. Swanky as you might imagine. Let's keep on. Another entrance to the high limit slots here on our right. You can see above retail that's not open yet. Cartier, restrooms here in the corner. Right past this not yet open store are the guest elevators. Now you see these workers working on this floor. These, these white or cream colored floors are a scuff nightmare. And uh, that's a little what they're working on right now. Anyway, that's the guest elevators. If you want to see the room, check out our other video that dropped last week. All right, let's head up the middle right now. I'm gonna keep moving here. And here's the famous blue bar. This is the casino bar in the center of the casino floor. This is, this I've gotta say is the most stunning casino bar in Las Vegas. It is absolutely awesome. Let's have a look at that chandelier. We are right dead center in the heart of the casino now. We're gonna head upstairs. First, I'm gonna pan around this way. Down that walkway there on the left is the uh, reward center. All new gaming loyalty club here at Fountain Blue. Again, another look at the blue bar. Stunning. I keep coming back to the word stunning because that's the only way I can describe this. This place is just gorgeous. All right, we're through the center of the casino. Now let's head upstairs and show you what's upstairs on the second level. This has quickly become my favorite escalator in the entire property, and you'll see why. I'm gonna turn around and face backwards because that's the only way to look. As you go up, you get a dramatic look at the casino floor, and it's just awesome. Let's turn around because I'm going to trip. A lot of shopping is going to be up here on the second level. Now you can turn around and go right up these escalators to the third level. Up there is going to be the entrance to the pool. Also Live Beach. The pool's not open yet. It won't open until spring so there's nothing to show you up there. Go right real quick. You see some not quite ready retail stores. Now even though the hotel is properly called Fountain Blue, this restaurant over here I suspect is actually La Fontaine. I doubt they want that pronounced La Fountain. We're going to zip back here. There's not a lot to see back here, but there is one lounge, so I want to get back there and show you. It's called Nowhere. As we go, we're going to pass Cafe Cuto right here on the right. Gelato Coffee. Over here on the left is Morrison Company. That's the only retail store that's kind of an in-house store so far. This is what I was talking about. This is Nowhere Lounge. Last night they had live jazz in here. The place was full. Another nice laid back cocktail lounge environment. All right, let's go back the way we came. Over here on the right, you see the entrance to the fitness center. You know what, let's go back and have a look because <laughs> this is pretty cool. Neon bow ties. That's where you go to get your pump on. Let's keep walking. 
These escalators on the right, those were the first set of escalators I show you as we uh, started into the casino. All right, not a lot to see in this stretch, so super fast speed up time. Here on the second level, we are coming into the promenade. This is the food hall here at Fountain Blue, and this is really nice. We came up here yesterday afternoon, grabbed a slice of pizza over here at Miami Slice, and it was really good. Let's go right. On the right here, you'll see Komodo. That's an Asian restaurant. We've got reservations tonight, so we'll have to let you know how that is. Most of this is not open yet this morning, but it already smells great up here. Here's Miami Slice. All right next to that is Roadside Taco. Little burger joint here called k -Pun. I don't know if it's k -Pons. The price is really not too bad. $10, $12 for a burger. Smell breakfast over here, and that's because we've got a bagel shop. Smells terrific. Before we hit the rest of the stalls in this food hall, let me show you this. If you can grab one of these tables over here by the railing, you're going to have one of the best views in town, at least from an indoor perspective. Just insane. Did I use the term elegant yet? Alright, a few more food stalls yet to go here in this food hall. Over here to our left, Bar Ito. Tamaki and hand rolls. Also have some bowls. Right over here is Nona. Sandwiches. Bowls. Deli style. Sitting right here yesterday was the owner of this place, the chairman of Fountain Blue Development. And over here on the other side of this cool bar we saw earlier is Break. Break is a great place for coffee and pastries. As you can see, a lot of people are taking advantage of that view of the casino floor. All right, let's cut through here and head back downstairs. But before we do here on the second floor, over here in this corner, this is the entrance to the Blue Live Theater. Not open yet. 3,900 seats, I believe, is what they say that's going to have. Here's the box office. Theater doors. Over here beside the theater is Poppy Steak. This is the more upscale, vibrant, almost club-like atmosphere steakhouse. We wanted to go there, but we couldn't get reservations, and we wound up at Don's Prime. Like I said, Don's Prime was phenomenal. I can highly recommend it. All right, now let's head back downstairs to the casino floor and wrap this up. As I said earlier, these escalators are amazing. It's almost a religious experience if you are a Vegas fan to ride down the escalators here at Fountain Blue. Stunning, elegant gorgeous, you pick the word, any of them fit. All right, I'm gonna go find Ashton. She's out here in the casino somewhere. Thanks for coming along on this walking tour. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss these walking tours or anything else we do on the channel. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in that next video because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas. Say hi, you'll do the outro on the walkthrough.